So welcome to C squared. Today we're gonna discuss about solving equation. Let's see the first two problem. I'm gonna start with number 18, which is uh, which say which saying h, oops, h minus 12 equals 6. Okay. In order to solve an equation, we need to undo the steps. We need to do the inverse operation. Here we can see these subtractions. Obviously, we're gonna the inverse operation is addition, so we're gonna add 12 on both sides. Okay, six plus 12, uh, 18, and that's it. Pretty simple equation. Let's take a look to the second one, and uh, this in, this one is uh, a good example. You can have fraction. If you remember, fraction means nothing else than division, right? And which is the operation that is the inverse operation of division? Obviously, multiplication. So take a look here. I'm going to put parentheses. It's better to put parentheses. And I'm going to multiply by negative 3. Why negative 3? Because negative 3 is the reciprocal of negative 1 third. Okay, that x over 3, negative x over 3, has that negative 1 third in it. And if I multiply the left side by negative 3, guess what? I'm going to do the same thing for the right side. This is a very important principle in solving equations. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. Okay, these two guys cancel out. We end up with x here, right? The two negatives cancel out also. Don't forget about that. And here we have 27 times negative 3, and that is negative 80. Okay, let's take a look to two more problems. Number 20, that one says 7w plus 2 equal 3w plus 94. In this uh, equation, we have variable on both sides, 7w on the left side, 3w on the right side. Uh, and numbers obviously so you you can do a, this problem in many ways i personally like to eliminate the variable first in this case i would like to eliminate w and look at here what i'm doing i want to eliminate 3w so i'm going to subtract it on both sides remember what i said this is very important in solving equation whatever you do on the left side you do on the right side right and these two guys cancel out and now I'm, always I suggest you to start from the left part of the equation, 7w minus 3w, 4w, plus 2, equal 94. Uh, and now you can see the reason for me of subtracting 3w. I like more to work with a positive quantity, 4w, in this case. Subtract 2 here. And we have 4w equals 92 divided by 4 on both sides. And we end up with w equals 23. If you are not sure about your solution, you always can check the solution by simply plugging the number in and see if you get a true statement. Okay. Now let's take a look to number 21, which says 2 minus 3 times the quantity x plus 4 equal 8. So what is different on this equation than the others? Obviously, we can see these parentheses here. Let's eliminate the parentheses. And if you remember, how we eliminate the parentheses by doing the distributive property. Okay, so we have 2 minus 3 times x, 3x, and 3 times 4, 12. Now, here be careful, this is a negative sign here, or subtraction. This is a positive sign, or addition. Uh, when you combine a negative and a positive, you get a negative equals 8. Okay, now, 
what do you notice here? We have these two and these minus 12, they are alike. 2 minus 12, negative 10, minus 3x equals 8. We're going to add 10 now, because I'm going to eliminate that minus 10. And we're going to divide by negative 3. Okay. Okay, that's all for today. If you enjoyed the presentation, uh, I'm glad. You can click the like button. <clears throat> and uh, I'm uh, waiting for you to be back on C-Square for more video clips. Thank you and have a great day.